Um, hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to make, um, a house buyer system, so, um, what I mean by that is that we're going to make it so you can buy or own a house, so, if you want, you can build a house, or you can go to your models and find one. But make sure your house is anchored and everything. So, first, we're just gonna start with uh, this house, I guess. The orange and white house. Now... Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, get a boombox giver thing, so, we're gonna search for that, then, and then find something that, uh, okay, I remember seeing something that had, like, these purple, um, you know, stuff around it, and you can equip the thing, but I don't see that anywhere, so we're just gonna, uh, you know, so let's add in, um, uh, part, and you can make this whatever color you want, but I I want to make this purple and make this part transparent or a little bit more transparent. Now, uh, now we're Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add in, like, a mailbox inside this part. Okay. Um. Now, select any mailbox you want. Um. I'm just going to choose this mailbox. Okay. Now let's, uh... Uh, rotate it. You can rotate it if you want, as long as, um, well, <laughs> never mind, but it, hold on. Okay, so, you're gonna have to make sure, um, the part is, like, nearly scaled, um, you know, like this. Near the mailbox or something, I don't know, but we're gonna group this now. Um, 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 house equiver. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, insert. We're going to insert a billboard GUI. Okay. Now, and we're going to go ahead and go to images and find, like, uh, a house icon for the billboard GUI. So... Let's search for house icon, because if you just search for house, it's just going to, um, you know, it's just going to, okay, never mind, but, 
let's insert uh, an image label. So, right here, uh, right here, uh, well, we don't really need to change the offset to zero because, um, it's not a screen GUI, it's just a billboard GUI, and it doesn't really need to fit your screen. But if you want, you can just do that. It's not uh, uh, my choice. Okay. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and. But if you want, you can just do 0.20 and 0.20 just in case. Or 0.2, because 0.20 won't work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lord. Now we're gonna... Wait. Okay, I think I'm just gonna scale it like this. No. Okay. There. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so finally, finally I found the perfect, uh, size for it. So, now we're gonna go ahead and insert, um, this or something. Or, yeah, that's good. Now, what you're gonna do is go into the texture, copy the texture ID, and delete the decal. Now go into the image label and replace the placeholder image with uh, this. Now, um, if you want, you can make the background transparency one as well. And you can change the image color as well, but you don't really need to do that, but it's your choice. Okay. How about... Uh, okay, let's make this... Uh, let's see... Now we're going to insert in a text label as well. Okay. Make sure that it doesn't cover the image label because, um, you know. But it's your choice. Now let's go ahead and put in a size for it. No point fun. Now, um, uh, if you want, you can change its slight position too, but make sure that, um, make sure that the, hold on. Okay, so make sure it's like this next to the image label. Okay. And if you want, uh, you can also make it so it goes down a bit, just, um, don't really, just, okay, um, so, if we want, we can move the billboard GUI. And make sure the max distance isn't infinite, cause then, even if, okay, wait. That there's the vertically, ah, oh wait a sec. Okay, sorry about that guys, but how about, um, 50. I think 50 will be good. 
Okay. Now, uh, we're... How about 45, though? Because people who are probably inside the houses will... No, they actually probably won't be able to see it, but through the windows, I guess. Yeah, but... Now, um, if you want your text to look good and stuff instead of, you know... Um, all you have to do is just, um, change the background transparency to one. Um, well, you can change the text color, of course. And, uh, make the text blank. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna... Can't pick a random font. So let's add in my username to test in the font. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wait, we can't really see the font by the way because of, you know. So we're gonna have to scale it a bit bigger. Like that. Oh, and just in case, we'll need outlines too. Okay. 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 Okay, uh, let's see. The text scaled. Good. Now, the outline doesn't look good, but what you can, uh, okay, 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 wait, but okay, hold on. Okay, there, so, it looks good, my username and everything, now let's just delete that, I guess, but, how about we'll add in a random username, like, you know what, yeah, just my username, but my alt, yeah, let's try my alt, and, Make sure that it's invisible, I guess. So now, let's do, type in, uh, now, uh, make sure that the house C Clipper, put it in, um, a house model, and, well, hold on. Hold on for a second. I don't think I really want this house, so let's delete it. And I'm gonna change it to another house, cause. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, how about we'll just go this house over here. How about that? Also, I'm gonna make sure the house is anchored. So do you guys make sure that the house is anchored too? Yes. Yeah, make sure. And, um... Rotate the house if you want. Okay. Oh, uh, make sure that the mailbox is in front of the house, not the back of the house or anything else. Okay. Now let's put this inside the house. And... We're gonna be, um, inserting in the script now. 
and add in the click detector too if you want or no um we'll put in a custom uh proximity prompt here okay so now i um put the door here um if you want, make sure that the door is um it Make sure that the door is not in any of these other models, just over here. Now, um, we're gonna go to the script and all. Oh, wait, I forgot I said that I was gonna add in a custom proximity proc, but I changed my mind because that'll be a lot harder to script. Because I haven't really done proximity prompts that much. Now, and this isn't all about proximity prompts. But anyway, let's type in. Now let's add in, um, type in, um, claim house. Or... Yeah, claim house. Or no. Or no. Um, we're gonna, uh, add in a click detector that makes it so, um, when you click it, it shows a GUI saying, are you sure you want to buy the house? Now, um, let's see. The guess the month of the The guess the month of the guess the month of the guess the month of Okay. Um, now we're gonna go into the script now. Oh, wait. Before we get onto the script and everything. First of all, we're gonna, oh wait, why do we need a script here? Now, we're gonna go into the starter GUI and put in a, no, I'm not dealing with that because I want to make the video faster and sorry if I'm rushing, it's just, you know, now, that I know this is the vehicle GUI, but I'm going to insert in the screen GUI, then call the main frame of this vehicle GUI to, to well, and then, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put it in here. Now, I'm gonna delete content scrolling, and, yeah. Now, okay. Now let's change this to purple since um the mailbox thing is purple. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna uh, add in this. So, um. We're gonna put in the UI gradient. No, no, not. I changed my mind. Oh, and we're gonna make this macro transparency one. And do you want to buy this house? Now, this is, uh, just for if someone accidentally, you know, clicks, um, that. Oh, and do you want to buy... Wait. Oh, text scale is not enabled. Do you want to buy this house? Now, we're gonna insert 
We're gonna grab the button from here too, cause I don't feel like scaling doing that fit screen thing. Now, um, now, um, we're gonna down this. Now, we're gonna put in this. Um, now let's change the text to, uh, accept. And then we'll do decline. Okay. 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 Decline. Now. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, um, we're gonna change the code to false and put in the end code back in because I accidentally deleted the end code. Oh, and sorry that I was silent for a while, by the way. It's just, um, right now, I have my earphones on, and I'm watching a video while doing this tutorial. So, sorry. But also, I'm gonna do... Okay, let's just do some go here. Here. Okay. Now... Let's uh, change this to skip the print the print visible. Okay. Um now let's do um let's add in an object value. Okay, so I added in an object value called a mailbox. So let's change this to false too. And we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot mailbox dot value dot parent. And then we're gonna check the mailbox. The parent. Um. Dot. Owned. Dot value equals true. Now. Hold on. Bruh! Okay, then. No, let's... Oh, wait. How about we just copy the code? And do mb equals... Then you remove this type of code. Okay. <laughs> mb... Uh, parent dot owned dot value <laughs> equals true mb dot parent dot uh no mb dot billboard gui equals and then no um, dot enabled equals true and then mb dot parent dot 
on the on the equals no 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 owner dot value equals that will do okay then we're gonna do player equals game dot players dot local player make sure that um yeah just make sure that uh your button has a local script now um let's do this now we're gonna do type in player dot name um two dots and players house or okay oh wait or you can do just player dot name so yeah okay but now let's go ahead and insert the values that don't exist yet so um let's put in bull value and then do type in owned. Make sure the value is false. And now let's put in a string value and put in owner. One, two, three. I'm surprised that the word owned and owner both have five words. But yeah. Now, um, we put in those values. Those values look like they have the same name. That's because they both have the word own and them. And there's a D here and an R here in both of those words. Now, for the Billboard GUI. We're gonna make it so the text, uh, you know. So, first, uh, we're gonna remove friend hello world. So, now we're gonna. Wait a second, I gotta close my door. Okay. We're going to type in while wait. Um, um, oh, point for do. Then let's type in script dot parent dot parent. No, no, no. I accidentally made a mistake. Whoops. Hold on. Okay. Script dot parent dot parent dot parent. Dot parent dot owner. Dot value, and then we're gonna type in screw dot period dot text equals. Okay, so this is what the code has to be. Now, uh, let's um exit that. Oh, and we're gonna make it so um. When you click the uh, a purple part, then you know. Now, um, we're gonna type in script dot pair dot click. 
de detector. No! Ah! Detector dot uh, mouse click colon connect. And now it's uh okay. Um then we'll type in function and put in um another bracket sign no press enter and then we're gonna put in the script um wait GUI equals script dot parent no 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 script dot um home GUI a clone clone now um okay also you guys might realize something different here. Well, you see, I also have a three-day trial for no watermark, which means I won't have any watermark for three days. And I just got the three-day trial yesterday, so um, I only have two days left with no watermark in my videos. Um, in my tutorial videos, or Roblox Studio videos, I don't know. But anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in gy.parent equals, and we're gonna put in player2, player, and then gy. And then we'll do gui dot hold on dot main frame dot mailbox um dot value equals gui. Now that we've done that, we're gonna name this. Home GUI, like it says here, um, and we're gonna, if, if, if script dot parent dot old dot value um equals false then um we're gonna copy this to delete it I guess and paste it in here and delete this hold on <laughs> now um well um, we're gonna put, uh, make sure that the part also disappears too, so, um, now, we're gonna make, uh, the, so, um, script dot parent dot Transparency. No! Why does it keep doing this? Okay. Um. Parents. Trans. Pair. And see. Oh, um, okay, I guess you got that correct then. It's just because of this. But what does local transparency modifier mean anyway? Let's do. Okay, anyway. Um, 
Um, I'll type in uh, equals. Then we're gonna type in one and script dot parent dot um can um, Clyde equals <laughs> um false. Then we'll do script dot parent dot billboard. I'm tired of it going slow like this. Okay, billboard GUI dot enabled equals true. Okay, and whenever I stop typing, it still types. Because of the lag or something. Or the video, I don't know. Now, um, we're gonna type in. Uh, now we're gonna type in script dot parent. Um, alright. Mmm. Hold up for a second. Um. Oh, and uh, there's already a billboard enabled code there, so we don't exactly need this, but. Um. We're gonna end the code off here. Now, let's make it so that when the player leaves the game, um. The um the house becomes a vast again, but anyway, now what I mean by vast is for sale. So yeah, okay. Now we're gonna put in um game dot players dot uh. Player removing one connect function mm, player. Okay, if player dot name equals script dot parent dot on the value okay, wait oh no 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 it's um okay there okay there good now let's type in then and we're gonna do we're just gonna copy this code and uh, make sure that the transparency goes back to what it was. Let's see the transparency. So the transparency is 0 0.8, so let's do 0 0.8. Can collide the true. Um. Now, um, we'll go ahead and, oh wait, we're supposed to anchor this part too. Sorry, I didn't realize that, guys, but make sure to anchor, um, the purple part as well. Also, um, let's type in, also let's type in, Script dot parent dot parent dot owner dot um value equals nothing so just leave that blank now let's do script dot parent dot uh billboard GUI 
dot enabled equals true. No, 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 false. <laughs> now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and put the GY in. We're, we're gonna put it, go ahead and put the GY inside this script over here. And if you want, you can publish the game too. So if you crash, you don't lose all of your changes. Okay. Now let's play the game. Okay, test. Now, let's see. Okay, so we're in the game. So just ignore this card you are here. Um, the reason why it's there is because um, since the cars in, well, the, the select vehicle frame, um, all have the GUI and they're in the viewport frame inside the GUI. Um, the GUI's inside those cars inside the viewpoint frame and when the viewport frame is in the GUI, then it shows this. Now let's stop talking and now let's see. Um, so there's an error. And somehow, old is not um, a part of a fallen number of parts. Now, um, we gotta change that code. Um, I forgot to add another parent code, so sorry, guys. Um, that's a huge mistake, I guess. Sorry. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and put in, um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and, uh, uh, pause the game, I guess, no, or stop the game. Okay, now let's put in another parent here, now... Uh, we're gonna publish the game again just in case we crash. And then, okay, now let's go ahead and uh, go to the mailbox and click this. There's probably another error. Oh, um, I just realized. Um, wait a sec. Uh, I forgot. Why do I keep forgetting to make sure that the home GUI goes into the charge? God. Seriously. Wow. But, um, like, now let's go ahead and fix that. I just realized that we weren't supposed to put in player GUI over here. I keep forgetting that part. Like, I don't really use player GUI a lot. I only use the screen, um, the starter GUI thing, not... You know, but still, wow, can't believe I forgot that. Okay, um, now, um, I'm gonna wait for a bit. Okay, the game is loading and everything, so while we wait, um, I just sort of tell you guys something, so, um, well, Y'all know that. Wait. Okay, I thought the game was. Okay, so. As I said. Well. Y'all know that. Um, there's this other abandoned channel that I have, but. Listen. Um, I don't want to tell you the channel, because. It has. Um, 
that uh, the other channel looks like it was made by me, but this other channel um ends with an L, and that is not my channel, guys. Someone made this false channel of me and photoshopped me and stuff to embarrass me, and I didn't realize that um, I had face cam on, but um, someone photoshopped me and added it to their videos just to embarrass me, like... Um, I got, I don't want you to, I don't want to tell y'all the channel, cause, yeah, but they photoshopped me and made really weird videos of me, and they even, and that person, well, I don't know who that person is, but whoever did that, I want them to get terminated from YouTube, because, um, before, um, when my first video came out in this in this channel that I'm recording in right now, um, well, there there was this other channel that came in the first time that first video was uploaded, and no one has ever known about it. But by the time um, my channel will get more popular in the future. More people will probably see that channel and think that was actually me recording myself doing embarrassing stuff, but no, that was photoshopped and edited, so that wasn't me, that was a fake channel, so please don't make fun of me or anything, um, yeah, but anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I mean, don't make fun of me when you go into that channel, and do not make any videos of the channel, too, because people will think that's actually me, but it's not. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and test this thing out. So the GUI popped up, and we'll click accept. Now, something's wrong. And it says, okay, okay, um, um, why does it say owned is not a volume number of player GUI when I didn't even say that, um, when I just put in the value code in there, like, isn't it supposed to, you know? Never mind. Never mind, just never minding. Let's just change the code then, if it wants. But, um, oof. let's, uh, delete the value code, I guess. And do, put in mb.value. Dot mb dot value dot um mb dot value and dot so yeah now um we're gonna go ahead why i still have my face cam on i don't want a face cam i forgot to turn it off but anyway, now, um, have I had my face cam on the whole entire time? No, but I guess not. Okay. Now, um, let's click play here. Uh, yeah, and stuff. Okay, now let me exit that. Okay, um, we're gonna, uh, hold on. Ah! Okay, now let's click this. Accept. And. How? Literally, how? Like. What is going on? Hold on first. Um. 
on does not why is the value the whole GUI literally why um hold on oh I think I made another mistake okay so um I um uh, made it okay so I changed the GUI fig to script dot parent so y'all should do that too. But let's publish the game one more time and test the game. I just want to end this video already. Okay. Um. Now let's go to the mailbox again and see if this finally works. And boom, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Har, 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 har. Wait a second. But wait. It says K Joseph 56222 slash alt. But it's not showing. But I'm not in my alt account. Which means there's still something wrong. I know it. <sighs> um, it's just, you know. Okay, now, uh, uh, let's see, um, by the way, have you ever known that I am actually a good whistler? Okay, let me show you proof, wait. Okay, let's stop whistling now. Um, I'll just show you the proof later that I'm good at whistling, but, um, wait a sec. Let me go here. Okay. Um, so I know, um, there's something wrong with the script here. I think. Wait. Um. Okay, a b dot value dot period dot dot okay wait dot value dot billboard GY dot name dot text equal equals oh sorry about that <laughs> and then player dot name okay okay now now that we've done that we're gonna go ahead and change the text label to um, change the text label's name to name. There. Super. By the way. Okay. I was actually listening to um, the super, the BFDI super meme. Oh, and I actually made a BFDI meme 15 hours ago called BFDI super. Oh, and I made that meme yesterday. That's what I mean by 15 hours ago. Um, 
15 hours in the night. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, let's go on into the box. Wait, let me try that again. Now, let's go on to the box. Well, that wasn't really good, but whatever. Bruh! It's still... What? Seriously? S Seriously? Come on! Why? Just why? Okay, um, you know what? You, well, at least, not, whatever, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to delete that code. Okay, um, I fixed the code, but let me show you. Um, I added another script that has the same code as the local script, so let's see if that works this time. Let's see if this works. I hope it works now. Okay, in 3, 2, 1, and... And, uh... uh well, it... I guess, yeah, well, oof, but wait a second, let me try that again, nope, um, let me see, is there, let me see, um, there must be something wrong, right, uh, hold on, Seriously? Just seriously, wow. What's wrong with the script anyway? Bruh! Why is this? All I wanna do is just get inside.